Good uh, morning, YouTubers. My name is Nubia. I am in recovery. I am reading out of the our daily bread devotional, 60 day introductory edition. Good for you. Actually, this, today is day 15. Psalms 119. Oh, I love Psalms. Now you can see a better halo. See, I have a halo. Oh, oh, wait, no. Oh, there it is. Psalms 119, uh, verses 65 to 72. You are good, and what you do is good. Teach me your decrees. Good for you? Because I like dark chocolate. I once Googled, I, is dark chocolate good for you? I got a variety variety of results. Some good, some bad. You can do the same for almost any product. Is meal good for you? Is coffee good for you? Is rice good for you? There's a dizzying array of answers for these questions. So you have to be aware that the search itself may not be good for you. It may give you a headache. Is a headache good for you? <laughs> but if you're looking for something that's 100% good, for you all the time can i recommend scripture listen to what it can do for the believer in jesus who's seeking to build a relationship with god i don't see it is it that high up it can't be i hear it oh i see it I thought I saw it. I cannot go and continue unless I see it. I'm sorry, you guys. I have. I'm right under the branches. I see it. It's an army helicopter, actually. Um, yeah, they move kind of slower than the other ones. I see it. It's over there. I saw it. Continue. Listen to what it can do for the believer in Jesus who's seeking to build a relationship with God. It can keep you pure. It blesses you. It makes you wise. It keeps light and understanding. It helps you grow spiritually. Oh, God is good. Our God is good. That I was reading scripture. <laughs> Our God is good. The Lord is good to all, says Psalms 145. And in his goodness, he's provided those who love him with a guide that helps us see how to enhance our relationship with him. As we try to decide how to live in a world full of choices, praise God that he's told us in scripture what's good, what's good for us. Let's say we did some writer, no. He's provided those who love him with a guide that helps us see how to enhance our relationship with him. As we try to decide how to live in a world full of choices, praise God that he's told us in scripture what's good for us. Let's say with the psalm writer, how sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Dave Brannan. What do you create? Thank you, Dave. I am... Um, I've actually just, I was just talking about this. I love reading scripture. It does something to me. It definitely makes me closer to God. Uh, what I've learned from scripture so far is God's many chances and the opportunities he just gives us to repent and, and to turn away from our sins and to be good, good as he calls us good. And I think that when he calls something good, it's good whether I like it or not it comes nothing but good comes from it God's degrees decrees are designed to give us a good life and we think that feeling good it's a good life feeling good doesn't necessarily mean a good life as we already know this if you're in recovery you know this sometimes you feel good because you meet all your goals for the day that makes you feel good 
you lay down your head at night and you don't feel so good. But why? I think it's because I don't follow all of God's decrees. If I follow all of God's decrees, I go to sleep at night feeling good. Even if I didn't sleep with that guy, even if I didn't talk about those people that I really wanted to talk about something that really frustrates me and I think somebody needs to listen to me, guess what? God can listen to me about what I need to complain about people. And guess what? God does not want me sleeping with people because, unless I'm married to them, <laughs> because it's going to end up making me feel bad. And um, if you guys want to try that again, you can. I am not trying that again. I know that if I have sex outside of marriage, it's going to end up making me feel like, you know, shitty. Yeah, because I give anyways. What do you what do I crave? What do I crave? I crave to have I, I crave my I crave my creator. I crave to please him. I crave to so he can delight in me. So he can be sitting up there in his lapis as lapis asu blue lapis azule I don't remember the name of the color throne sitting down and, go, and going like this shaking his head but the truth is that he's right here right now he's probably just hugging me right now like side hug because he knows he doesn't want to get in between me and the camera but he can if he wants to he's, <laughs> he's just hugging me sideways that's, that's what I long for I long for his embrace. That's what I crave, his embrace. How can mediate, meditating on scripture satisfy my longing? <laughs> How can it not? Yeah, you know, I got things to do at the house. I got to wash my dishes. I got to mop the floor. I got some clothes I have to fold and I have to change my bed sheets. When I'm done doing this, I'm going to go read some scripture because I need it. I, I need it. Um, if I don't do that throughout my day, I feel disconnected. And that is just a gift to be able to, to crave to read scripture because it makes me feel better. It heals me. It heals my anxiety. I sit there and it didn't do it always. It did not. It does it now. Because since I've been doing it for a little while, I get the benefit from it. But I will not get the benefit from it a week into it that I am getting now. I don't know, a few months into it. I can't explain it because that's how God works. God can, I can you can hardly explain God things. You know, you can explain nature. Hardly. Because there's a lot of things about nature that we cannot explain. We cannot explain the cosmos as it is, not 100%. We, don't, we cannot explain anything 100% because that percentage that's missing is him. It's his hand in it, you know? So, how can meditating on scripture satisfy my longing? How can it? How can it not? Dear God, thank you for leaving me your inspired scripture. Help me to read it carefully, interpret it correctly, and apply it enthusiastically to my life. Amen. Thank you very much, Mr. Dane Brandon. And thank you guys for tuning in. I do have the same shot I had yesterday or hoodie yesterday because last night I did a bonfire. And guess what? I'm still in it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Guys, I hope you have a wonderful and blessed rest of your day. And I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for tuning in.